Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be recapping, reviewing, talking about episode three of Thousand Pound Sisters. Tammy really aggravated the holy piss out of me, but we're going to talk about that, y'all. Let's get into the damn recap, shall we? Now, if you guys remember, uh, Amy and Tammy talked to Dr. Proctor. I think that's his name. Not Proctor. 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 Okay. So, Amy and Tammy talked to Dr. Proctor about losing weight and things like that. And he told them the best way to get exercise is to, you know, get into a pool. So, before they head back to good old Kentucky, they decide to take a dip, a quick dip, into the hotel pool. Michael wheels Tammy on down to the pool and they get next to the pool and there's like three baby steps y'all. Three little and they don't look like actual steps to where like it's this tall of a step down. It's you know like those ones that are like kind of like back to back where it's like doop doop doop. Pool pool stairs that's what they were. But Tammy did not even want to attempt to go down the stairs so she did not join Amy and Michael in the pool. Amy and our Michael pushed Tammy over to the side and Tammy was just left there to watch as she should. Tammy said she hopes in about six months she'll be able to make it into the pool but the truth is is that Tammy could have made it into the pool right then and there but Tammy did not even want to attempt to go down these stairs. That's the problem here Tammy. If you won't even put any effort into it you don't really know what you can and can't do. You're just assuming that you couldn't make it down those steps. Like you're not going to get anywhere you're, if you're not moving and in, at least attempting. You got Amy and Michael there to help you up. You could have had it. I'm sure the team of TLC would have been there too to make sure that nothing was going to happen to you. But no, mm -mm. she did not even want to try. But she says in six months, because she's delusional, and she thinks everything that she's doing is going to work for her, which is absolutely nothing in my opinion. Then one of the producers, when she was sitting down for her little interview or whatever, said, what happens if, you know, you don't, make your goal if you don't achieve it and Tammy's old dodo bird ass said there's no happen I will there no Tammy there is no if okay there, there is no happen doesn't make sense there is no if I swear to god TLC edited it to make the to make them look really like some some dumb asses sometimes okay I'm just being honest y'all so after I guess the swim in the the hotel pool or whatever they load up they pack up they get ready to go back to Kentucky they're on the road guys and Michael again all, and this time it was like legit like even worse than the last time the last time I think he went to switch lanes and, <clears throat> and didn't see the car come in and it was totally his fault and this time I don't know if he was like paying attention to what Amy and Tammy were saying and wasn't looking at the road but he damn near from the way they made it look ran into somebody on the expressway. Amy goes forward, Michael's trying to hold on to Amy and then Tammy like legit just rolls on out to she hit the back of Amy's seat which made me think like dang she's not in a seat belt or nothing if like he really hit the back of a semi or a car or a truck or anything going 60 70 miles an hour could you imagine that's gonna be bad. Tammy look, really looked like she was hurting because it looked like everything that was behind her just flew forward on top of her. She said she was in some pain but they ended up laughing it off like nobody died so we're good here. Tammy said that they did not stop for any fast food on the way home and their mission is to lose weight. I thought that was really good that they didn't stop anywhere. Tammy starts to throw away pretty much all the food that they have in the house like she's throwing out uh, peanut butter it looks like uh, snacky cakes pancakes loaded mashed potatoes those instant mashed potatoes in like a family size box they were just throwing everything away in the refrigerator Tammy ends up stuffing a little snacky cake down her shirt that Amy ended up catching her doing. Tammy, you ain't slick, girl. We all seen you do that. Eating your diet, you're only hurting yourself, Tammy. They end up throwing out a huge thing. I've never even seen one that big. This thing looks like about a 20-pound roll of hamburger. I don't know if they just threw this food away or if they donated it. Like, I couldn't imagine taking food like that, especially food that hasn't been opened and just putting it in the trash can, but... I don't know. They said they were throwing it away. Tammy then asks Amy, what about the soda? They got like this 24 pack of soda stuffed in the refrigerator that, you know, Amy's a big soda fan. She said that, I remember she drank like six to eight a day and Amy's like, no, no, uh, I'm going to leave it there for Michael. Michael, you know, drink some or he's, maybe he'll drink them when he goes to work. Tammy went and buying that lie. She was like, no, you're going to end up drinking them. You know you are. And Amy's like, I will not. I got to agree with Tammy. If they're there, Amy, and you are that much 
you know, of a fan of those damn sodies, you are going to end up drinking them, girl. Let's be real. Tammy was talking about how she's nervous because she feels like um, she's unsure about what she's going to do when she gets hungry. You know, are these foods that they're going to get going to fill her up? Or are they going to make her feel away? Amy was like, look, I'm just going to be honest. There are going to be days that you're going to be hungry, Tammy. And yes, Tammy, you are probably going to be starving for the first couple of weeks until your body gets, you know, situated. Before they end that little segment, after, well, after they throw out all their food and everything and have Michael take it out to the trash, Amy declares that she's hungry. And what I found really funny about this scene, that there was like a plate of spaghetti on the floor and I don't know if the, either one of them were saving it for later or if they're feeding that crap a little bit. My guess is they're probably, it's either Tammy's that she's done hid or that's little bit's dinner. Gross, Amy. Don't feed your dog spaghetti table scraps. Blech. Now since they've thrown out all their food, Amy's got to go to the store, get new food to bring home into the house, you know, healthy food and things like that. So she goes out by herself, of course, because Tammy can't leave the house. She won't even try. It's so aggravating. Like, ugh, whatever, Tammy. But Amy goes and she says, you know, she starts to pick out some vegetables and things. She says she's not really used to having healthy foods in her house, which was funny because she grabbed what she thought was a head of lettuce and put it in her cart and, and the producer was like, I think that's cabbage. And Amy looked down and she was like, oh, you're right, and puts back the cabbage and gets the lettuce. I thought that was hilarious. How in the world does somebody pick up a head of cabbage and mistake that lets you know right there like Amy legit don't never buy vegetables or stuff to make salad. Amy was like after she got the stuff for the salad it felt like the very you know like where your kid sits if you have a kid or whatever where you put your purse that little area was filled and she had nothing else really in her cart and that's she got some protein drinks and I think stuff for salad I didn't see any kind of like chicken or turkey, beef, nothing like that. It was just weird. She didn't have very much at all and she ends up leaving the store with like two bags. So after Amy does her little healthy grocery haul, grocery haul, they come home or she comes home with these protein drinks and her and Tammy and the camera crew showed them uh, filming their little taste test videos that you know that they do on their channel all the time. Amy heads out to the gym, of course alone. No, Miss Tammy did not come. No shocker there, right? But Michael drops Amy off at the gym. Now, if you guys remember, Amy did, and she actually uploaded a video to her channel where she went to the same gym in these workout clothes right here. So if we kind of put the times together, that particular video was filmed back in June, June 16th. So TLC is actually filming these girls back in the summer of 2019. They give, I guess Amy got a personal trainer at the gym and uh, she was like, yeah, we've worked with all kinds of different, you know, body types and things like that. I've never actually worked with anybody um, Amy size. Amy did this like little, war it was just a warm up on the exercising bike and that girl was like, all right, good job warming up. And Amy was like, well, I thought that was the workout and she was like, nope, we're just getting started and she got out the bike and I guess the girl was taking her to the next machine. Amy was like, look, man, I need to sit down for a minute. She was like, all right, you know, just sit down right there. And so they stood there for a minute waiting and then she was like, are you ready? And Amy was like, no, just give me one more minute. <laughs> she was, Amy was like, don't you dare pressure me. Let me breathe, girl. Let me breathe. Meanwhile, Tammy's back at home and she's claiming that she is doing her own exercising by cleaning the kitchen and yes she's cleaning the kitchen all right but she's doing it on a chair with wheels tammy 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 i don't here's the thing that really bothers me i get the girl has got a lot of weight on her feet and i've been watching you guys know if you're following my other recap show i'm doing my 600 pound life there are other people as big as tammy the same size and everything that at least attempt to get up and try. Tammy doesn't even seem to try and, and like I said here is what really bothers me <clears throat> about people like that. Some of y'all are gonna get mad but it is what it is. You have an able body that wants to be disabled so bad. It's sickening. I don't care what you say. Tammy wants to be disabled. She's not. She has a, a struggle ahead of her 
but she's not disabled. She can walk without her. Get off the walker, just like Amy tells you to do, Tammy. Get off the walker. Practice not using the damn thing. Walk from your front door to your back door. Do it about 10 times without your walker. That would be you trying to get off the walker, not you sitting in your kitchen, rolling around, doing dishes. Yeah, I'll give it to you. It's probably more than she's ever done, but my guess is she's probably just doing it because the cameras are there. If the cameras weren't there, would she really be doing this shit? Probably not. Now, Tammy, I was rooting for you, but you were a whole asshole in this, this episode, and I still hope you do good and, and you go through with it, but Tammy, the truth is you do need to get off that walker. You do need to apply yourself more. You refused to even try to get in that pool because there were stairs, dude. You had a group of people around Around you that would have helped you get into that pool but no right off the bat it was no so anyways Tammy is doing her exercise at home rolling her ass around doing the dishes and I'll be damned I ain't never in my whole life seen somebody sweep the floor while they were sitting down but yes Tammy did I don't get it Tammy you're gonna you're gonna lose weight fast the thing is with you Tammy those pounds are going to legit just melt off of you if you would just put a minimal effort into trying to be more active. It's because you've got so much weight on your body. It's just going to melt off, dude. It's obvious that you are not even trying to put a little, a, li a smidge of effort into this. And that's why T Amy is probably succeeded because we've already seen Amy. We've seen her on camera. It looks like she's way smaller. And Tammy, why you're not. If you want something, you got to work for it, Tammy. If you want to be miserable, then keep doing what you're doing. If you don't want to take the little bit of effort as to, like I said, putting your walker aside and just walking through your house without it, you deserve what you get, dude. I can't feel sorry for you anymore. Back at the gym, they got she's she's got Amy on the treadmill. It's so funny. They had her like to me, it was like the slowest speed. And she was like, Is that okay? And Amy's like, just a little bit slower. Slow it down, slow it down. It barely looked like she was moving. I was dying. But at least Amy's out here trying. They the girls, I guess they had them setting up to do some kind of like weight loss journal or whatever, like a video diary. And Amy was talking about like what she's been doing on her diet and how she's been doing. And then they showed Tammy, and Tammy was like, yeah, I've been doing all right. I'm having a hard time with vegetables because I don't like what Amy cooks, blah, blah, blah. And then she got to, and here, Amy, here's my little bone I had to pick with you. She got to the part to where she said, I did slip up some. I had some ice cream, and I, I don't know what else she named. And I'm sitting there thinking, Amy, you just went to the grocery store. Why does she have access to ice cream? I know it's not everybody's responsibility to take care of somebody else, but if you're really, if you're really about what you say you're about and like you're really trying to help Tammy out, why are we bringing ice cream in the house? Amy, Tammy is a food addict. Probably the worst of the worst out there. If you can keep things like ice cream out of your house because Tammy has no way to get her butt because she, I don't even, she won't even walk out her front door, so she has no way to get this ice cream. Don't bring it into the house. And it's probably a good thing. I got to thinking about this too. It is a very good thing that they probably live out into like rural Kentucky to where it's not like city and stuff because if they had like access to Uber Eats, I guarantee you Tammy would bl be blowing that service up. But Amy, quit bringing that kind of stuff into the house. She shouldn't have been able to cheat. You just showed yourself and Tammy emptying out all the stuff out of the refrigerator. So how does she still have access to the ice cream? Amy has Michael download this dancing game and she was like, look, Tammy, since you can't get to the gym with me and you're not able to do a whole lot of going out and things like that, let's do this dance video game. It'll get you moving, moving around the house. You're like, hey, you're moving your body. Even if you're just standing there, you're moving your body. You're breaking a sweat because with almost 700 pounds, you don't have to do a whole lot to get your heart rate going and to start sweating. You know what I'm saying? So Amy was nice enough to set this up. Michael takes a move because you know Michael's super supportive. Moves the table out of the way, gets the girls ready, and even joins them. Even joins them in this little dance game. And you know what? You know what, Tammy? You know what? Didn't make it five minutes. I don't think she made it 20 seconds. I can't do this. That's what she says. I can't do this. Well, then, then, then just sit there and be a biggie. Be a biggie. Stop crying about being big if you're not willing to put in any 
freaking effort. And you can tell, like, Amy is just getting fed up, which I totally get it. I totally get it. And she's like, I cannot do this for her. She has to do something. I get that, you know, she's like, I'm able to get out. I know I can go to the gym. I know I can go to the grocery store, walk around, go to the park, do more than what she can do. So here I am trying to bring something to her, and she still refuses to do it. We're not talking about a a Tammy had to walk up any kind of stairs to do this dance routine. No, no. She literally stood up from the couch and started moving around to the game and she refused to do it. I thought that was really messed up of you, Tammy, and that's really disappointing that you have people that are supporting you right now. It's something you probably never had before, right? You've got Amy, you've got Michael, you've probably got this whole crew at TLC, the doctors and everything. Something that you've never had before support. And this is how you're treating people. I guess the producers had did some kind of little interview with Mike. How Michael liked Amy's dance moves or whatever. And, and Michael's like, it, it just blows my mind. It's so, it's like, that is so cute to me. I'm sorry. Everybody get you a Michael. I Girls sit down and they talk about, you know, they need to get something. They need to start doing more. And, and Amy's like, I agree. But Tammy's like, I ain't dancing no more though. Why? Why ain't you dancing, Tammy? It, please, no, you didn't give a reason why on the show of why you quit dancing or why you refuse to dance. I'm not really sure of your your reasoning, so it'd be nice maybe if you went on your social media, your Twitter, your Instagram, and let us know what was it about the dancing that was so bad, that was so terrible, that you had to stop immediately and then refuse to ever do it again. Ha, oh, here we go again. They cut to Tammy sitting on the couch. She's legit, like, I guess, like, relaxed, recline back into I don't even know how she's sitting like that like she is sit slumped over slouching got her phone in one hand a chip in her mouth her she's got a bag of chips legit just laying on her chest and just sitting there just smashing nah, 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 nah. then they cut over to Amy and Amy's like she has this box from Amazon and she's going through it and she's like did you did you eat all these it was like a whole case of chips gone and Tammy was like yeah I ate them they're you know they're Low, they're healthy chips. They're low calorie. She's legit. She's sitting there, not just with one bag of chips. Look at this. Look at this. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Two bags of chips laid up on her stomach with her cell phone. Done ate the whole box that Amy bought off Amazon and thinks that she can just sit there and eat like that because it's low calorie. They're not healthy, Tammy. They are low calorie. There's probably nothing about these chips that are healthy. You can't just, because you think they're healthy or think that they're low calorie, you can consume a whole case of chips, Tammy. Once again, you fell. Amy gets Tammy out of the house to go get a mani-pedi. I think it's pretty funny that Amy can get Tammy to go with her to a place like the spa, but can't get her to go to a place like the gym. I'm just saying, y'all. They get to the spa to get manis and petties, and they walk in, and you can tell, like, it, it was just going to be all bad. They get to the place where you got to go get your uh, toes done, and there's three steps. Again, it's like these steps. Dum, dum, dum. It just, it's tension all around. Tammy shuts down immediately. She just can't do it. Can't go up there. Can't do it. She's just a freaking, she's mean, dude. Tammy is mean, and I get it probably being her size and everything has, has made her that way and her family life. I don't know, but she just seems like really mean. And Amy's like, do you just want to try? And she's like, I can't, Amy, I can't, you know, screaming and stuff. So the girl who works there, she was so nice. She got like this purple bucket. She was like, no worries. Sit here. We'll improvise. Here's a bucket. I'll put the water and everything in here. So she, you know, these people really went out of their way to help Tammy and make her feel good and everything. So it was, but when they got her feet in this bucket, there's blood. Like it's just, I don't know why they even showed it. Ugh. But they, it looks like she has blood. I'm assuming it's blood. What else would it be? And I'm sitting there thinking like, I wonder if she even feels that. I wonder if she even knows that she's cut. Like, does she have filling in her leg? But they end up telling the girls at the salon how they're going to have weight loss surgery and the girl goes, look, when you get down to a size, talking to Tammy, when you get down to a size and you can make it in here and you can go up my steps, I want you to come in here and I'll treat you to a Manny and Petty. And Tammy is like, deal, deal. So I thought that was really nice. You know, that's more encouragement, Tammy. More support than you've had in the past. And what does Tammy do? Mm. She just continues to have an attitude. I mean, she was nice to the lady. They get ready to leave and go out to the door and Tammy strikes her ugly head again. Yes, Tammy, Amy is trying to hold the door open. 
Dodo birds holding it open the wrong way. I don't know why she's doing it. And Amy's like, what are you doing, Amy? Why do you do this every time? I can't get out. You're in the way. Move. Like, and she's like yelling in the middle of the store and everything. Like, she's just so hateful. It's just, it sucks to have that much anger and, and hatefulness inside. You know, it's not a good thing, Tammy. You probably need to get some counseling and work on that because that, you, you are making yourself miserable and you're also making other people around you with that nasty attitude. They get back home and then like uh, Tammy is sitting back in her slouch position. This time she's got her old sody pop rested. Whoever knew that you could use your belly for like a, 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 a tray, you know, but they do. Tammy's got her little Diet Coke sitting on her stomach and she's while she's watching Amy walk around doing whatever and she's like, can, can you get me this? And can you get me some peanut butter? Can you get me my phone? Nah, 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 nah. Constantly just asking Amy to do shit. And Amy's like, you could tell like, Amy's just getting sick of it. And she told her, she's like, look, Tammy, you're going to have to start to get up and start to do more and things like that. And Tammy's like, lose the attitude, Amy. The nerve of you, Tammy, telling somebody else to lose an attitude because they're tired of your shit. So they were going back and forth a while about that. And then Amy takes her normal blow to Tammy. She's like, look, you need to lose the walker. And Tammy's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, which you ain't. You ain't trying, Tammy. Stop lying. You ain't fooling nobody. And calling you out on national TV because she knows because she lives with your ass. You ain't trying, dude. Tammy goes on to say, I don't think that Amy has any sympathy for me, which obviously is not true. Or Amy wouldn't be out here moving Tammy into her house, doing everything that she's doing for Tammy, giving her a bath, helping her bathe, getting her food, probably doing her laundry, doing everything for that. But you've got the nerve to sit up here and say that Amy, who's doing all this for you, Amy and Michael, they don't have sympathy for you. That's pretty messed up, dude. So Amy is trying to like legit sit down and express to Tammy how she feels and instead of Tammy taking in and accepting what she's saying and think about what she's saying and respond back, you know, and, and they, they talk about it. Tammy just says, look, I'm done with it. Move on. I don't want to talk about it no more. When somebody tries to tell you that they're having a problem with your behavior, you can't tell them just to shut up and to move on because obviously it's still not being addressed. And that's the problem, Tammy. You won't address your attitude problem. So all this is going to keep building up keep building up. You can't just say we're going to move on because eventually these little fights y'all having are going to really explode. Why can't you just say, you know, thank you sometimes or I appreciate everything you do for me and I totally get that. I've lived with the Tammy before. I know what that's like. You know what I'm saying? You go out of your way to do so much for somebody and you can't even get, you know, uh, any kind of gratitude, any kind of, you know, thank you, I appreciate you. It's always bitch, 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 complain, 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 complain. I know exactly how that feels. It's a horrible feeling to have. Tammy went on to say even since Amy has married Michael that she has became more of a bitch. And she said, I guess it's because she has to take care of Michael or that's not my fault. And I'm just like, like Tammy, you just don't get it because you're like a big kid. Like Amy, when Amy was telling you to grow up, like legit, you do need to grow up because you don't understand. Amy's married. Michael is the one working. Amy is the caretaker of the house. He, she cooks dinner and everything for Michael. She does things around the house and then she takes care of you. What I don't understand, like, you're, the thing is, is that she's not supposed to be taking care of you. You're supposed to be taking care of yourself, but you won't even help yourself, dude. You shouldn't be worrying about what Amy's doing in her personal life. You should be worrying about fixing Tammy. And yes, the fact that you think that you are a victim is complete bullshit. You, you need to lose that victim mentality. Uh, Tammy was like, you just need to quit pushing me. You need to quit pushing me. I'll do it when I'm ready. I'll do it when I'm ready. Tammy, you, you ain't did it yet, dude. It doesn't look like you're going to do it, unfortunately. Like, I hope that you do. I hope that you somehow maybe watch this show back, watch yourself on TV and think, I really got to do something because it's not only is it your weight that's a problem, it's your behavior. It's who you are on a person. You don't need to just worry about your weight. You need to fix who you are on the inside because you're ugly on the inside, dude. And that's, that's really awful to treat people who are trying. You're going to end up alone and you're really going to end up in a bad position. You know how you think you got it so bad right now? 
wait till you legit run everybody off because of your shitty behavior and then you're stuck and you literally don't have nobody to give you no sponge bath you ain't got nobody to grocery shop for you you're gonna end up in a nursing home strangers taking care of you not properly turning your ass in the bed getting bed sores and everything else if i was you i would straighten up on your behavior like ASAP. There was a part in the show that I forgot to talk about. Tammy was talking to Amy and she was like, look, I need you to promise me that you're not going to cheat on this diet. And Amy was like, yeah, I'm on it too. I'm with you, Tammy. And then they cut to Tammy talking about, she was like, <clears throat> I'm worried about uh, when Amy and Michael go out that they're going to go out to eat. And I'm like, that's a great concern. That's a good concern. Then she finishes it off with this. And it's just not fair because I'm stuck in the house and I can't go out and eat that kind of stuff. Something like that. And I was like, wow. So you're not concerned with Amy falling off track or getting off her diet. But what you are concerned is, is that Amy's going to go have her some fast food, some golden crow, whatever y'all eat down there. And you're going to be in your apartment stuck having salad. Okay, Tammy, okay, legit complaint there. Mm -hmm. You lost me when you added that in. You had me when you, I thought you were really concerned about Amy and Michael going out and maybe her getting off track. But when you said the stuff about, you know, because you're not going to be there, so you're just jealous. Come on, dude. Come on, Tammy. Get it together. It was got pretty ugly there at the end, and we've already seen them in every episode, I think, have a little fight. Amy says all Tammy worries about is food. I can believe that 100%. Like I said, even when she tried to show concern for Amy, she had to throw in there that she was actually concerned because she would not be able to get in on that little cheat. Mm -hmm. See what I mean about it being a good thing that she can't get Uber Eats down there? I'm just saying, y'all. That is it for episode three. Be on the lookout for my recap on episode three of my 600 pound life. That'll be coming sometime this weekend. And yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments, y'all. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.